92.3 Amp Radio. Yeah. All right, so uh, this game is called Rose or Bros. Oh, yeah. So the, you guys have to choose who would you rather do this with. So we're going to mention an activity. Who would you rather do it with? With a rose, meaning a beautiful woman, okay. or with the bros. Okay. All right, so here it is. You guys ready? Yeah. Would you rather go shopping with a rose or with the bros? I like to go by myself. I have terrible style, so I'll, I'll go with my bro, Drew. He's like, no, you're not. I'll go yeah. by myself. And then just, and then, that's why I still have terrible style. It just, just leaves me hanging. <laughs> Shopping as they pick their nose together. What do you think about yeah. this? I mean, they don't live together, but they really do spend every other waking moment yeah, together. Yeah, All right. Uh, watch the big game this Sunday. Would you rather watch it with the Rose or with the Bros? Bros. Yeah, Bros. That's, that's not even a real yeah. question. All right. Uh, I mean, you never know. There we go. All right, cool. Uh, go on a horse carriage ride around Central Park with the Rose or with the Bros. My Rose tried to convince me to do that, and I was like, I got it here. I'm not spending money on that. <laughs> this, this, it is cold out, and it is boring, and I could, she won't let me take my phone out of my pocket. <laughs> but I would do it with her over a bro. Yeah. Good times. Yeah, Drew? yeah, probably the same. With the Rose? Yeah, except that now that I think about it, like if we're really being honest, it, it would be, we, I would let you take your phone out of your pocket. Yeah, so maybe. I knew you know. it. I knew it. I could totally imagine that around Central Park right now. I know, me too. That would be epic. All right, let's get to our listeners' questions right now from the Aunt Familia. Uh, we got Dan from Jersey. Where's Big Dan at? There, there we he go. Is. What's up, Dan? He. Well, you, raised, you rose your hand with pride. Raise, We're the real Dan. Please stand up. Okay, uh, what is the biggest sacrifice that you've made for your music? Very good question. Yeah, that's a good question. Oh, uh, like I started making music in college or in lot senior year of high school, and I missed like I was like obsessed with it. I'm like, like low key computer nerd. I was in a fraternity, and like to this day, everyone from the well, not to this day because like it worked out, but like <laughs> like everyone used to give me so much because I'd be in this like I like lived in a closet, and I just stay in there and make music while they were having like day ragers. It was pretty lame, and I really. Don't regret missing some of those because it was super, I like now it's way more fun, but I like had a lot of second thoughts for a long period of time. But now your life is like an one enhanced day, it's one giant frat party. party. Yeah, yeah. It's sick. But we work hard to work what hard for What have you had to sacrifice from? Uh, I mean, obviously we travel a lot for the stuff. Um, I mean, I love it. You get used to it. Um, but, you know, we don't get to see like our, you know, moms and girlfriends that much. But honestly, yeah. I feel like that's a good thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I don't mean that in a dick way, but like, you know, missing someone's a good thing. And Distance you know, makes the yeah, heart grow fonder kind of a thing. And when you're like our age, we're young, like you gotta have your space to like figure out who you are and stuff. So You're so smart. It's true though. We're pretty mature guys. Yeah, yeah. you seem like it. I'm very impressed. Um, how do you decide who to collaborate with? This is Catherine, also from Jersey. Ooh. Catherine. Catherine. Up, Catherine? Um, we just find people that we think are cool and original and like are down to be collaborative and not there's a lot of people you get in the studio with and they're like they have one vision and it's like so st and they're really stubborn about it and you don't make anything good um or we just don't collaborate with anyone yeah i feel like a lot recently we've been the one-stop shop which is like really awesome and then like after the whole thing is done maybe we'll realize that it might be better if we hit up X singer or Y singer or something. Um, but, uh, but that's cool because it's like already kind of a finished vision. And yeah. It's like a complete thing. Yeah. Um, but but we found Ro Roses off of Hype Machine yeah. and thought her, she had this track called Limelight that was really dope. And we just had her come over and we wrote Roses in like eight hours because she's like a dope chick and really talented and was really open to like the vision that we kind of had and and we made it happen. You should see uh, some of the emails that are just so basic. It's like, hey there, like, like, this song's dope. Want to work with us? Yeah. But uh, you'd be surprised how many people don't answer. Still, even, uh, which is uh, I don't know. I gotta give our single manager over there a shout out because a lot of people don't work as hard as that guy over there. I have to say, a lot of people you'll email managers and a lot of people. And He's also single. By yeah. The way. Oh, hey. oh. Yeah. Uh, we'll do the bachelor right now, yeah, bro. Yeah. yeah. You got beautiful women up but you, there. you're just it's just always surprising me how like uh you know these guys people represent their artists and how like a lot of them don't actually put the work in that's necessary and yeah. it's a shame because these artists are missing out on good opportunities it feels like there's been like a transition within the last couple of years where before 
per se, the producers or, or the people that really created the music didn't get the credit. It was more about the singer, mm -hmm. you know? And now it's really the producers and the DJs, if you will, that are getting even more of the credit than the singers, you know? Yeah. So how does that happen? You, you mentioned that you wrote, you were part of Writing Roses. Do you guys just take yeah. care of the, of the music itself, producing the music, or do you all sh actually get involved in the writing process? Uh, well, we're doing more and more going forward with Roses. Uh, we sent her like a little sketch of an idea for a song, and she wrote the first verse um, up until the, Deep in My Bones with a, a totally different melody to a beat in a different key. And I had made the beginning of the Roses beat, and I was like, we should work on this, because this is a really tight beat. And I changed her melody to fit the new track that I was working on. Yeah. And then I wrote the Deep in My Bones, I Can Feel You, Take Me Back, that whole part I wrote. And then, um, yeah, and then, but she was like super down and like, was like, cool, that's a dope idea, I'm into this. And, and working with someone like that's just like really, really tight. But our next song was like 50-50. And then the song after that, I wrote like the whole thing with one of my friends. That's dope.